All right, everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day so far, because today we're gonna to be talking about the fabulous world of the beauty community. A place where there seems to be more attention and drama since the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, and Tati Westbrook. Tati, oh, Tati, oh, Tati. How wonderful for you to show your face in the spotlight again. And, you know, I'm, I'm quite surprised that you decided to show your face, you know, after the, the last thing that happened. But uh, we won't talk about that today. And by the last thing, I mean, you know, what happened with the uh, St. Jimbo Charles crap. I just mentioned it, didn't I? Well, uh, I'm gonna lock me up and throw away the key. What the f*** are you gonna do? Oh my god, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again, and somehow you're the victim. Yes, feel the wrath. Take it, James Charles. Suck my d Sorry. And I am really sorry, James. Ah, uh, yes. Apologize, no, James Charles. After the allegations you put out last year, with no evidence, of course, I bet you feel like a proper mug right now. However, today's drama is focusing on Tati's new video release on Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Some of the things I have uncovered myself about both of them. Their lies, manipulation, etc. And if you've come here to seek a side or maybe a voice of reason, you will find that. However, I must tell you, every single person involved is in fact guilty of at least something. So, sit back, because this is about to be an all-out free-for-all. Steady on, soldier. You're going straight to the gulag. Shane Dawson has been absolutely destroyed on social media recently. I mean, you know, some would say more destroyed than a prostitute working a Saturday night. And believe me when I say this, those blokes can get extremely rough. Hello there. What's the matter? You look sad. Bored during lockdown, perhaps? Well, <laughs> don't worry, because I have the cure. Free Channel Legends. Yeah! Free Channel Legends, a friend of the Curtis Price channel, been sponsored three times by them. They must love us. But in case any of you are new, what is Raid Shadow Legends? Well, it is in fact a turn-based RPG game done right. You can assemble a team of champions, make them stronger, and fight against 10 different bosses and players. Sounds very exciting if you ask me. Hmm, you just download the game, like. What's the matter with you? You know, this wonderful game is in fact available on PC and mobile, and the graphics on this game are just absolutely amazing for a mobile game. I cannot lie, they are some of the best graphics I myself have ever seen. And that's coming from me, so... You know I'm not talking shit, like. There's no stairs there. <laughs> Good joke, yeah. Well, Curtis, I don't have time to unlock cool stuff. Well, sit your ass down and listen up. Logging in every day when you start playing is very important because you do, in fact, progress faster in the game. Damn common sense, who would have thought, eh? Raises a couple of new player programs that gives you really cool rewards simply for logging in. If you collect them all, you'll get a pretty sweet bonus to your account. Another free tip would be to complete the weekly quests because you get a hefty ancient shard, which is a really nice way to progress. You know, it's normal from time to time. Perhaps you need an extra pair of hands. That's exactly what clans are for. Joining a clan is actually a really quick way to progress in the game and you actually make some friends along the way as well. However, your main priority will indeed be the campaign and if you find yourself struggling within that, it's usually due to the fact you are too weak for the enemy. So to combat that, you should try maybe upgrading your artifacts or maybe try leveling up your champion. You know, it is common sense. So what on earth are you waiting for? Go to the description, click on the special links and if you're a new player, you will in fact get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP bonus, and one free champion, the Hexweaver. And if you go this champion in a team, you're just gonna absolutely ride through the campaign. Trust me, he's an absolute beast. So you better download the game, what are you waiting for? These rewards are waiting to be claimed. This champion is very good if you are a new player. Download the game, trust me, you won't regret it. Once you've done that, all the treasure will be waiting for you in the top right corner on that little icon right there, and a job's a good done. If you need advice, you are not alone. Subscribe to the guide in the Telleria world and find out the whole truth about Raid Shadow Legends. Link in the description. But yes, once again, thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. Those guys are absolutely amazing. And it would help me if you downloaded the game. It wouldn't just be helping Raid Shadow Legends, but you'd also be helping me as well. In fact, you may as well download it just for me, you know, because it really does uh, help your boy out, you know? It increases chances of doing more business in the future, which extremely helps me out considering, you know, demonetization and everything, so... Do you want to maybe just do that? All right, back to the video. But you know, Shane Dawson has in fact been cancelled recently for all the past things he's done, you know, because he's got a huge background of saying some edgy things. Where do I begin, really? You know, saying the N-word, joking about being a pedophile. <laughs> 
hit by Cal. Blackfaced multiple times, which is extremely racist. Said some horrible things about Jaden Smith's sister. Well, the list goes on, ladies and gentlemen. The list does indeed go on. So I just wonder, Shane Dawson, um, I'm a very big fan of your conspiracy theories. I just wonder, um, what's the conspiracy behind your content? I, I, I would, you know, personally would love to know. So Shane Dawson privatized all of his daily vlogs from 2012, but he left one from May 2012, How to Be Hipster, and I'm just gonna show you what he says in the one vlog that he left unlisted. Uh, uh, Sean was here, I'd be screaming the N-word. Is it weird that I feel like when she's around, I can say it, and then when she's gone, I can't? Oh, we cannot say it. I whispered, I whispered, Shauna, you didn't hear that! Literally, what the f Also, Shane Dawson's privated countless and countless and countless of videos, but left one open. And if that one was so bad, I can't imagine how bad the rest of them are. But obviously, I'm not one to speak on people's past mistakes. This was very much back in the day. I can't really comment on that. People change, ladies and gentlemen, all right? People change. And I'm talking from experience, ladies and gentlemen. My penis has grown huge in the last couple of years. After the surgery, of course. And I know you're all thinking you're anxious to talk about the Tati video, and we'll get to that, but I want to talk about Shane Dawson, first of all. Did I mention that his, uh, <laughs> his makeup palette, you know, his conspiracy one, has been removed from the Morph website? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Not just that, but Shane Dawson really has drawn the short straw. All of his channels have been demonetized. All by YouTube because of everything that he had uploaded in the past. Being edgy is not cool anymore, ladies and gentlemen, and the sooner we realize that, the better. Or if not, Jeffree Star will be set on you because he is in fact a hitman. Don't know if you knew that. <laughs> Not just that, but Targets also removed Shane Dawson books as well due to the sexual comments he made about Willow Smith. But what's wrong with making sexual comments about people? Well, Willow Smith was uh, a child when he made those comments. Yeah, it gets worse, doesn't it? And Willow Smith's brother, Jaden Smith, actually made a tweet about this, and here's what he had to say. Shane Dawson, I'm disgusted by you. You sexualizing an 11-year-old girl who happens to be my sister is the furthest thing from funny and not okay in the slightest bit. Yeah. Can't lie, Shane, you might have pissed off the Smith family. But now we're on the topic of, you know, uh, sexualizing children. Uh, have a look at this clip and you tell me what you think. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes! I'm going to jail! <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> How old are you? 12. <laughs> well, that's just f***ing fantastic, Shane. Well done to you. You've officially been awarded for the rip-off Anision. Mm. Sorry, everyone. Uh, that was my edgy joke. Well done, Shane. You know, you're a funny f***er. You. I really like you. You're a funny fucker. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. Get carried away sometimes. Uh, I think everything's a weapon. Uh, I should be arrested. In fact, the police are probably on their way right now. I have your grandmother hostage. You have 24 hours to give me a grand. In fact, make it five. Don't be fucking selfish. And you wonder why all your channels have been demonetized? Huh? Jesus Christ, your book's been taken off the shelves? Your channels have been demonetized? But let's be honest, your channels have been dry for a long time now. Some would say drier than a nun's vagina. And referencing those videos, I know I was all edgy humor, you know, making out with children. Oh, so edgy. Let's talk about tweets that didn't age very well. I struggled there because, um, the, the mental image of Shane Dawson's channel just gives me crippling anxiety. I'm a child molester. <laughs> Fucking weird, mate. Time to stop. That didn't age very well, though, did it? Considering the content he used to make and now making the tweets, and it didn't age very well, did it? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move on to the Tati Westbrook drama. Tati uploaded a video called Breaking My Silence. And in this video, she decided to apologize to James Charles. Not just that, but also came out and said that apparently, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson peer pressured her into making that video. Fed her lies over and over. And when this video was released, everyone supported Tati. Shane Dawson jumped on live stream on Instagram and shit himself continuously over and over again. Because you mess with drama channels! Oh my god. Oh my god. However, I'd first like to talk about the shit apology that she made for James Charles. James, I apologize for uploading that video. I should have known better than to fall for their lies and manipulation. But in the end, I failed. And instead, I allowed Shane and Jeffrey to put a wedge. 
between our friendship. So she comes on the screen and gives an apology, being like, oh, I'm sorry, I was fed lies. I was peer pressured into it. I was fed some false information that wasn't apparently correct. I'm sorry, I called you a predator. Because these were some serious allegations, but I'm sorry. It doesn't make up for it though, does it? You almost ruined someone's life. I know, Tati, you might have been fed some lies, but maybe an apology being more, you know. James, I'm sorry I almost ruined your life. I'm sorry I jumped on a YouTube video before confronting you privately and absolutely slated you in front of millions and millions of people on YouTube and almost and utterly obliterated your career. I'm sorry. That didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. What happened was I apologize for the video I made. Um, it was actually their fault. Um, not taking any accountability, of course. It wasn't my fault. I promise. It was those mean guys over there. It was the Sith Lord, Jeffree Star, and the master manipulator, Shane Dawson. Let's be clear a second. Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star isn't some master manipulators. They're not some grade-A military psychological beasts, alright? They're not. And they're quite shitted if you look at it, because they do leave a lot of gaps in the things they do. Same with Tati. She's no master manipulator herself. And here's proof why. Mind that up until this point, I didn't even know I was making a video. So how is it that so many editorial outlets knew that something was coming before I had even made a decision to film? Well, that's actually quite funny, Tati, that you say that this year. Dealing with the stuff that happened last year with your bi sister video, it's quite ironic that you say that because I'm pretty sure last year you said something completely, completely different. In full disclosure, I have spoken with two drama channels. Oh yeah, that's right. You told two drama channels. Do you see the, the, the gap in your story here? You know, some things don't add up. I understand, Tati, that you said you were fed lies and everything, but no one forced you to turn on the camera last year and make that video on James Charles. Are you telling me Jeffree Star was behind the camera with a fucking gun in your face or something? To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised. So you, Tati, were in full control of making that video. In fact, it's funny because last year you said that you had loads and loads of evidence, loads of receipts, you know, everything all backed up in evidence. Except this year you said something completely different. Just know my receipts, my receipts are like stacked thick. Over the course of the next few weeks, he and Jeffrey fed me so much information that I felt sick. Almost every day, there was more information and new allegations. Eventually, I started believing what they were saying because they said they had evidence. By the time the drama around James Charles's promotion of Sugar Bear Hair reached its peak, I was beyond gaslit. That's right. Well, bloody hell, that's some crazy receipts you have. You never jump on camera and make a video about someone canceling their entire career when all you've heard is a voice memo and voices from people that were close to you. What a load of shit. Didn't you maybe perhaps think to, you know, approach James Charles first? Wouldn't that have been the logical thing? Stop speaking shit, Tati, yeah? I was manipulated by these big two scary men. They forced me into making a YouTube video. I could have controlled it. But I just couldn't help myself. Ah! What's that? What a load of Shit. I was forced into making it blah 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 bullshit. You just wanted to promote your vitamins, didn't you? You wanted some of that moolah la. I don't know the real reason. It's a conspiracy. Shane Dawson conspiracy theories, you know? Links all together. The beautiful world of Jeffree Star, eh? Let's talk about that a second. Jeffree Star disappeared off the internet at this point. It's quite funny because, uh, let's look at a tweet that he made. Few years ago. When people stay silent, they are guilty. Let that show you who someone's true character really is. Well, Jeffrey, isn't that interesting? I might take that on board, you know. For once, I might actually listen to you. And you need someone to tell you to stop it. I know what I find funny about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that, you know, uh, Tai disappeared off the internet for a month. No one knows where she went. She could have been kidnapped for all we know. Could have been held hostage and forced to make a YouTube video. <laughs> But it was funny because as Shane Dawson was being cancelled and being absolutely fisted by the internet, she comes out of the woodworks to destroy another career. However, there's another person coming into the mix here. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but uh, Trish Paytas is, uh, she has come to senses. She is feeling the full ability of the Force. She now wields common sense of the gods. And I never thought I'd be saying this, but I... I'm shocked with the amount of truth Trisha Paytas is speaking. Forget the videos I've made on her, right? Let's shut up about that, right? Don't mention it or I'll kill you. 
with Mayor Dreyer. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath, <laughs> you know? Tati is saying she made a video because she was manipulated by two grown adults. In that video, Tati, you accused James Charles of being a sexual predator, of sexual crimes. You should be investigated for making false criminal claims. You can't backtrack. You can't say someone else told me to do it. That came out of your mouth. That was your first started video. Yeah, maybe, it, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't involved, but if someone's like pushing you to do a video or pushing you that way, you're a grown ass woman. You're probably damn near 40. You can make that decision yourself. And why now are you deciding to speak up? Because it's, it's cool to hate Shane and Jeffrey? Is that why you're deciding to speak up? Why didn't you speak up about it in December? I hate to say this, but I'm about to get on my knees for Trisha Paytas. I can't believe the amount of sense that woman is speaking after all the things she's done on the platform for controversy. I cannot believe it, but I say it now, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make out with Trisha Paytas. <sighs> sorry, that. Was meant to come out like that, I'm sorry. But in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe the amount of sense Trisha Paytas is speaking. I mean, she has spoken so much. Just so much fact. It's Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. If you don't agree with my opinion, that's completely fine because um, an opinion's an opinion But I'm not on anyone's side because I actually think all of them are pieces of shit <laughs> What a thought, eh? Look, listen up. If you made it this far, congratulations. I love you But seriously, we are on a mission right now and I know this sounds like I'm trying to beg for subs, which oh, in some sense I am <laughs> My dream to get to 100,000 for a very long time and we are on 70,000. I repeat 70,000. So if you could hit the subscribe button because I want to try and get to 80,000 by the end of the month and that would mean the absolute world to me. I want to try and hit 100k by September if possible and I can only do that with your guys' help. But subscribing, you know, it is free after all so you may as well. But yes, follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.